Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 and this is your daily go get em -ism number 845 for January 25th, 2017. Tonight, I want to talk to y'all about compassion and healing. Compassion and healing. How do two go together? They do go together, but a lot of times people can't put the two together. But to make it as simple as possible, let's talk about compassion first. Com compassion. When you show compassion for somebody, you're showing a connection between you and them in an affectionate way. But not a, not affectionate in a way that you are trying to get next to them romantically. You're showing affection to them in their hour of need, in their time of sorrow. And, you know, when they've hurt themselves or, or something has hurt them emotionally, physically or whatever. It's sort of like when you're a child and your and, and your mom or your dad, you know, tends to your wounds. If you fall down and hurt yourself, break something, tear something, cut something, burn something, hurt something, you know, you done messed yourself up. So it would be uncompassion. I don't even know. I'm not gonna mess around with that word. When they show compassion, you know, they hug you close. They they uh, they you know they they put their hands on you. They touch you. They kiss the boo-boo. They kiss the boo-boo. Now, of course, medically, there are nothing there there's nothing to prove that kissing a boo-boo works. But kids stop crying when you kiss the boo-boo, don't they? And the reason they stop crying is because you've shown compassion. And it soothes people, it helps. Even pets and animals, they feel it. When you show compassion towards them, it's a it's a feeling that allows you to heal on the inside. And we're going to talk about healing in just a second. But when you when you learn compassion, when you learn to be compassionate with a person, it can get you very far in life because people people feel that connection when a person is compassionate. When when you don't show any compassion for for the struggle that a person is going through, for any pain that a person is going through, they will they'll really resent it. They will really, really resent it. And what's worse about it is that they won't forget that. When you kick somebody when they're down, that's what that's what showing lack of compassion is like. It's like kicking kicking somebody when they're down. It's like it's like rubbing salt in the wound. It's like it's like a, it's like dousing alcohol on a on an open open sore. You know you don't want to. What well, should I say? An open wound that's bleeding or whatever. It's going to sting. It's going to hurt. And when you're already hurting. You don't want anything to compound that hurt. So when a person shows compassion, when they when they show that they feel they, that they can relate to what you're feeling, and then even if they can't relate to what they're feeling, they understand that you feel pain, and they want you to know that that you're not going through that pain alone. That they want to try to help you get through the pain, and that pain could be physical. That pain could be emotional. That pain could be a lot of things. But when, when a person shows compassion, it allows you to take your concentration off of the pain that you're feeling and start to concentrate on the healing. Now, when we start talking about healing, there's a difference between healing and repairing or fixing. You can fix or repair something that doesn't have any feelings, that doesn't have uh, uh, flesh and bone, you know. Something that is an inanimate object. I can fix a car. I can fix a leak. I can fix a, a you know, a, a broken electronic device. I can fix or repair those things. There's a difference between fixing something and repairing. They sound the same, but eh, there's a couple of differences. Nah, but we're not getting into that because what we're talking about is the difference between fixing, repairing, and healing. See, when you when when you heal from something. You're healing from a sickness. You're healing from an illness. It doesn't mean that you're not functioning. It doesn't mean that you're broken. It just means that you're damaged. You've been damaged and there's a process that goes along with you to get better. So you need to heal. If you cut yourself, if you burn yourself, if you break a bone, you have to heal. And there's something really, really captivating, engaging, and magical about 
healing. If you've ever had the flu really, really bad or pneumonia really, really bad, when you when you go through a really bad episode of those types of of illnesses, it makes you feel like you're dying. I, I, I remember one time I had the flu so bad. This was in 2005. I felt like I had, I had the flu so bad I felt like I was... I really felt like it was the end. I had never been that sick before in my life and it really, really hurt. And when and, and sometimes, if you're anything like me, you start to wonder, like, am I go ever going to heal from this thing? See, when you're, when you're ill, your thoughts are ill too. Everything is messed up. It's not just your body that's ill or sick. Your mental state is sick too. And if you get stuck in an ill mental state, it can stop your physical state from repairing. It can take longer for you to repair from physical illnesses. So when you feel right, when you feel good, it helps you to start the healing process. And when I said that there's something engaging, magical, and um, what was the other word I used? Engaging, magical, and whatever it is. When you feel yourself start to get better, you see that magic. You see the magic of the human body. The magic of being a living thing. You know, you see yourself start to come back alive. You see yourself start to grow back. You see yourself fighting back through. And as each day goes by and you start to get better, it works on your confidence. You start to become more confident. So when when you are in a really bad, ill state, mental, uh, of, of physically ill state and an emotionally or mentally ill state, you need someone to show compassion to you for what you're going through so they can help you to start the healing process again. I got into a big thing this morning on the radio show about this topic. And we were talking about testosterone versus estrogen and, and how women, women produce testosterone too. And anyway, it was a real big thing this morning. But it it turns out I was right, you know, like what I'd like y'all to do is look up the healing prop properties of testosterone. That's for men and women. Look up the healing properties of testosterone. Um, there's some very interesting things, some interesting articles, and a lot of knowledge that needs to be to be um, learned in that. Anyway, so, you know, check that out. But the healing process is a magical process. And when you feel yourself healing, you feel yourself coming back to life. You feel yourself getting better. And it gives you the confidence to get better and better. But when this is messed up, when somebody doesn't show you compassion, when somebody doesn't show you love, when somebody doesn't show you affection, when somebody doesn't show you understanding, when somebody doesn't show you that they're feeling you, when somebody doesn't show you a connection between the two of you that lets you know that you're not the only one in the world going through something, then it, it's like a bond between you and those and those um that person is either broken or really, really strengthen. And you want to strengthen the bonds that you have between people. So, if you don't get anything else out of this video, what I want y'all to get out of this video is to learn to show some compassion. You know, and that's with anything. Even if they're not sick. Even if they're not hurt. One thing about my people, black people, we need a lot of compassion in our lives. <clears throat> because we're all in this struggle. And a lot of us don't even know that we're in this struggle. A lot of us think that we're in this struggle by ourselves, even when we're in this struggle collectively. And 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 those and there's a lot of us who have gotten a lot farther in our con consciousness. And a lot of us fail to show compassion to those who are still learning and those who are resistant, resi resistant to to uh, um, elevating their level of consciousness. So we have to show compassion to them because they're really, really ill. They're really, really sick. 
on a spiritual level, on a conscious level. And we can't expect people to be where we are just because we got there. We have to remember that we started from somewhere and we have to get somewhere. And that's just, that's just that. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, compassion, baby. Show some compassion to the people that you love, the people that you know, the, anybody. Anybody that is within your, your, uh, your listening voice. Or your 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 touching your touching feel, you know. Show a little compassion. You don't have to be all huggy and touchy feely. You don't want to offend anybody. You don't want to get a lawsuit. All I'm saying is, you know, where it where it is available for you to do so, please do so. Compassion heals. Compassion heals. Compassion heals. Tonight on Urban Therapy with Sun Show. I have to grab the cheat sheet because I just can't. This title keeps ugh, keeps slipping by me. Influence, pressure, and inspiration. Influence versus pressure versus inspiration. Where do we get it from? Where do we get our influences from? Where do we get them from? It's not a hard thing. Who has influenced you in your life? Is it your, your mom, your dad, your parents, grandparents, siblings, older siblings? Even younger siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, good friends, coaches, teachers, mentors, a doctor, whoever. Who has influenced you? Why do you think the way that you think? Many of us think that we think the way that we think independently. And it's, it's I, I ain't feeling that one. <clears throat> but influence, then you take it to the pressure realm. When you, how do you perform under pressure? What, what's it like for you when you are under pressure? What are some of the things in your life that, that, that keep you under pressure on a daily basis? And why do we keep those things in our lives? Why do we, why do we succumb to the pressure? Why do we succumb to the pressures of being pressured? Inspiration, what inspires us? Everything comes from something. We didn't just make it up. Everything comes from something. So what, is, what inspires you? Let's talk about it tonight. Let's get it in tonight. Let's let's build with each other tonight. Let's show some compassion for each other tonight on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number is 347-677-1533. If you like to speak, comment, whatever, it's an open show. Just press number one and that will let me know that you would like to speak and then I will call you out by the last four digits of your telephone number. You can listen online, blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. Peace. I'll talk to y'all about, about an hour or so, about an hour or so, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 7.30 on the Midwest, 6.30 Mountain Time. I don't know who's on Mountain Time, but hey, it is what it is. I holler at y'all. Y'all have a good night. Peace.